Hi Goggle, why do you look so lost, buddy? Oh, hi Toggle, nice to see you here. Seems you were thinking of something deeply. What is it? Well, my computer teacher asked me to write an essay on the uses of the internet. So what's the problem? Well, I have only managed to write about email and information searching. I just don't know what else the internet is used for. Why, Goggle? There is so much about the internet that you can write. Really? What else can the internet be used for? Besides emails and information searching, you can use the internet for chatting, instant messaging and online discussions. Wow! Tell me please, how do we do all that? Well, Goggle, you can use the internet to talk or chat with your friends no matter where they are in the world. Hey, this sounds like fun. What do I need for this? For this, you need a chat program or instant messaging program. Chat programs? That's right, Goggle. Chat programs. These let you communicate with other users live by exchanging text messages. Where can I find such chat programs, Toggle? Well, Goggle, many websites offer the facility of chat rooms. Chat rooms? What are they? A chat room is a service in which many users talk to each other by sending text messages to each other. So what do chat room users talk about? Chat room users generally talk about topics of common interest such as games, adventures, music and technology. Do you know any such sites which offer chat rooms? Sure, Goggle. There are many. ICQ.com, DelphiForums.com and PalTalk.com are some of the popular ones. Frankly, this is news to me, Toggle. I had no idea I could converse with anyone over the internet. Sure, Goggle. You can chat with anyone you like. However, there are certain rules that you should follow when you chat with strangers. Rules? What kind of rules, Toggle? Chatting can be fun and uninformative. However, there are some do's and don'ts that ensure your safety. While chatting, you must use a chat nickname and not your real name. You should thoroughly check the terms, conditions and privacy statement of the chat site before you begin chatting. Okay. Also, always use decent language while talking. I think this way will not hurt the other user's feelings, right? Right, Goggle. And never reveal any personal information in a chat room. And never ever agree to meet someone you have talked to only in a chat room. Will you remember all that, Goggle? Sure, Toggle. That's useful advice. You also talked about instant something. <laughs> instant messaging. Yes, what's that? Instant messaging or IM for short is another internet communication service that you can use to send and receive instant text messages in real time. But how is IM any different from a chat room service? Instant messaging is a kind of private chat room where you can communicate with known users only. These users are usually the friends whom you have invited to join your network. Got that! Now I can chat anytime with my friends through instant messaging. Yes, Goggle, you surely can. Do you know of any instant message service providers? Yes, of course, Goggle. AOL Instant Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Skype IM and Google Talk are some of the popular IM services that you can use to chat with your friends. Toggle, which other services can be used to communicate over the internet? Some other services through which you can communicate with others are news groups, blogs and web feeds. Hmm, way over my head. None of those terms ring a bell. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll explain these to you one by one. News groups are similar to email, but these messages are not sent to your mailbox. Then how do we read those messages? In news groups, the messages are posted on a bulletin board. If you are a member of that news group, you can read and respond to those messages at your convenience. What I don't understand is why these news groups want people to respond to their mails. 
Well, Google, by this way, news groups allow discussions to take place among several people. One can express one's views on an issue, current affair, or suggest a solution to the problem presented. A news group may have several discussions going on at the same time. Do you know the name of any of these news groups? Yes, there are many news groups on the internet. These news groups have special naming schemes that indicate their area of interest. What naming scheme, Toggle? Well, the names are written using words and dots. These names are read right to left. Please give me an example. Well, there is a news group called Alt Dot Music Dot Jazz. It means that this news group is on jazz music in the alternate category. Okay, what are blogs then? A blog is short for a web blog. It is a website where articles are posted regularly and displayed with the most recent entry first. What are these articles about and who posts these? Blog articles are on the author's particular area of interest and these can include text, hypertext, images, links to other web pages, audio or even video. Many people, especially celebrities and experts of subjects, maintain a blog. The activity is called blogging. Blogging? That's right, blogging. Writing a blog, maintaining and adding articles to the existing blog is called blogging. Individual articles on a blog are called blog posts or entries. <laughs> well, if you start a blog on computer training sometime, you can be sure I'll be following all your posts. Of course, Goggle. Toggle, you also mentioned something called web feeds. What are those? A web feed, your news feed, is an interesting facility that informs you when your favorite website has a new content update. But what is the benefit of such a facility? Using a web feed service, you can get the updates from all your one's favorite sites in a single place and you don't have to visit those sites separately. This saves a whole lot of time. Hmm, that makes sense. But how does a web feed actually work? For receiving a web feed, you need a feed reader, which is a program that lets you keep up with new content from websites. I suppose we have to tell the feed reader which sites we want to see. Right, Goggle. This is called subscribing to the website. Do all websites have the web feed feature? No, Goggle. All websites do not have the feature of web feeds. Feeds are often known as RSS, which stands for Really Simple Syndication. Web feeds are web pages designed to be read by computers and not by humans. Do you know of any sites that provide feed readers? My Yahoo Reader, Omea Reader and Feed Demon are some examples of feed readers. I now know so much about the users of the internet. I bet my teacher is going to be very pleased with my essay. Thank you, Toggle. You're welcome.